In this video, we're going to look at factoring trinomials, which have two variables and a 1 in front of the squared variable. As we do this video, we are going to discuss some shortcuts that only work if there is a 1 in front of the first squared variable. If there was any other number in front of the squared variable, the methods we use would not work exactly the same. OK, let's see what we can do. If we have more than one variable, you should see the first variable squared in the first term, the product of the two variables in the second term, and the second variable squared in the last term. If that's the case, we should be able to factor in much the same way we factored before. Using the AC method, we would want to multiply to 1 times 14, or 14, and add to negative 9. One way to multiply to 14 is 2 times 7. Those would give us positive 9, unless they were both negative. If they're both negative, we get negative 9 when adding, and a negative times a negative is a positive we found the pair of numbers that will make this work. As we factor, we need to account for both variables. How we will do this is we will put the a in the first term of both of them, and the b in the second term of both of them. So we end up with a minus 2, and we stick the b in there, that gives us our b term, and a minus 7, and we stick a b in there. Notice this is exactly the same process we used to factor before. The only difference now is the second variable appears on both of the second terms. Let's take a look at one more example, where we see this pattern work out. Again, in the next problem, we notice the 1 in front of m squared. This allows us to use our shortcut. Using the AC method, 1 times negative 30 is negative 30, and the middle number is negative 1. One way to multiply to 30 is 3 times 10, but that won't give us the negative 1. 2 times 15 won't work either, because they won't give us negative 1. However, 6 times 5 is 30, and if the 6 is negative, we end up multiplying to negative 30 and adding to negative 1 we have found the pair of numbers that makes this work. Because there are two variables, we need to account for both variables in our factors. m minus 6, tack on the second variable, n, and m plus 5, tack on the second variable, n, and we have our solution. Factoring with two variables works exactly like factoring with one. We just have to account for the second variable on the second term of each factor. Again, as a warning, the shortcuts discussed in this video only work if there is a 1 in front of the first squared variable. If there was not a 1 in front, we would need to use another method of factoring, or at least a more involved method.